So today I'm filming my December favourite. I'm literally just about to head out to the gym, but I'm waiting for my phone to charge, so I thought, I'm just gonna do it now. Who cares about putting makeup on before I film this? Or wearing nice clothes I just want to get this filmed because I'm excited to talk to you about some stuff that happened in December so I started off the month it was like on the 10th of December and I went to see the coral uh, with my best friend Tash and I did make a little video about visiting Liverpool and we had the most amazing time I'd listened to the coral before and you know like the really generic songs especially the song dreaming of you um, I knew those songs but I hadn't actually really listened to any of their other stuff and I really really liked their new album, they were incredible, like, I mean like incredible, like they sounded just how they do on like Spotify or you know CD, it was such a phenomenal gig, like it was just, you know when you're like drinking and you're having a good time with your friend, um, yeah it was just, it was so so good by the way, Broad is here, hello! And, yeah so we were going around Liverpool, um, before the gig we got around, we got into Liverpool um, early-ish so we got to look around, a uh, place where we stayed was brilliant, it, we used Airbnb, um, absolutely amazing and the lady Jenny I was ridiculously like so yeah we went to the cavern club we, we we went in the day just thought screw it let's go now and have a drink but i'm glad that we didn't go in the night because i think it would it gets really hot and sweaty down there and then i don't know i don't think i would have liked it in the night i think it's just a daytime thing to just have a ni nice drink and a chat um but where the cavern club is it's so cool there's like loads of retro places retro clubs like soul clubs we didn't actually go to any of those that's why i want to go back to liverpool because we went to the coral after party which was great it was so so, so good the music was ace um, but yeah, definitely want to go back to Liverpool because it is such a good place to go shopping. Like, that was ridiculous. Like, I, I, I could say so much about the place, but it's just incredible. Of course, Christmas and New Year, I've got to go into my favourites. Simply because Christmas, I go away for Christmas every year and it was just so nice to chill out. We just had an amazing Christmas dinner. Um, my mum is such a good cook. And then New Year's Eve, I was working New Year's Eve, finished, I was, we normally finish at 10, half 10, but this year I finished around 11, which sucked. However, one of the girls from work called Alice gave me a lift home. I went to Kieran's house, so I, he literally lives like five, 10 minutes away. We'll call it five minutes. Yeah, so I got there straight away, like Kieran and his parents, because it was just us four, they were waiting for me. Um, I was already sort of in my own clothes anyway, because we dressed nicely for work on New Year's Eve, so I just left those on. And then Kieran had like a little cocktail area made up for me, because I bought all the alcohol, and I've got all the like cocktail shaker and stuff. And I actually put it on my Instagram, like I did a little uh, shot of it, and then put it on my story on Instagram. We made cocktails all night, obviously it was New Year's Eve so we just said Happy New Year and then we played board games, we played Cards Against hum Humanity and I was making like so many different cocktails um, which I'll go into later but yeah we got so drunk, like it was absolutely hilarious and then we stayed up till like 4 in the morning and then I had to be at work the next day and I was hungover to say the least but I got through it. So then the next favourite is actually making cocktails. I'm literally obsessed. I was making them over Christmas, I was making them at New Year, I even made them after New Year because I fancied a cocktail. Um, I was making Long Island iced tea, I was making margaritas, tequila sunrise, two different raspberry cocktails. Um, what else did I make? I made this like spiced rum cocktail which was absolutely gorgeous, it's so nice. Also I recommend going on because I bought quite a lot of absolute like flavoured vodka and on their website they give you um ideas for cocktails which is really really good so i'll link that down below okay so i'm just going to quickly go into dive into the fashion aspect of everything um when i went away for christmas i actually we nipped into sainsbury's and i found the most gorgeous red jumper which i actually just put in a tuesday's video and it was an uh, what i wore video and that jumper is 16 pound it's so comfortable like better than like top shop material or urban outfitters and it's just got a really 60s vibe to it i really really love it and then i actually paired that with my favorite coat of the month which is the trench coat from warehouse and i have it in navy and blue and um, navy and blue what i have it in navy and beige and i both got them both in the sale i wouldn't have bought i don't think i think i would would have been really reluctant to buy them because they were originally 89 pound but i got the beige for 60 and i got the blue like navy for 40. And Kieran also really treated me at Christmas and he bought me a Fred Perry bag which I've wanted for ages. It's like a what holder bag, it's beautiful. It's got a strap with it but I like using it as a holder bag. And he also got me a Fred Perry dress which I like I was 
gobsmacked that he bought me. Um, but I actually feel like I need to lose a little bit of weight before I wear it. Not necessarily like lose weight, I just need to get rid of my bloatedness because my I've got like a little bit of a sticky out belly in it. But that's only because of all the drinking and eating over um, Christmas. And I am going to go to the gym after this, so you know, it should be okay. Because I was really worried about what size I needed. But a size 10 is quite good in Fred Perry and it even fits my ass. So if I just go to the gym, then like I'll lose like a little bit of weight. But it's not that I want to go down a dress size. It's just that I want to make sure that I'm not bloated and getting all. Okay, hot. we'll just dive into bits and bobs. Now I am obsessed with mason jars. You might not, you know, you won't really know this, but I'm obsessed with mason jars. I've got about seven different mason jars just because I love mason jars. I don't even have my own house. I just like mason jars. And my mom got me these. <laughs> I really wanted them. They're like mini mason, um, mason jar shot glasses. Like. How cool are they? They're so cute. And I've got about five of them. They're great, absolutely brilliant. I love them, love them so much. The next thing is my pineapple money jar. Kieran bought me this. And I just really, I really like pineapples. So I got this and um, it's from Sass and Bell. I think it was only like 10 or 15 pound, but it's well nice. I think it's really cool. And then my next favorite thing is a present that my mum got me. And it is my fisheye film camera. And I am so, so happy that she got me a new one because I bought myself one because I was too drunk. I kept dropping it and then it just kind of didn't work after that. Um, but I mean, like I was like paralytic. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I'm so happy that she bought it me because that I've had some of the best pictures come from that fish, like the fish eye camera that I had before. But I actually prefer the fish eye I have now because it's less bulky. So it means that I can actually take it in my bag and you know use it as a disposable, like I, like I would use a disposable, just whack it out whenever I want to use it. So. Yeah, definitely recommend getting like a Polaroid or a, a Lomography film camera. They're just really, really easy to use. They're not as hard as you think. I know that some people can't be asked with that, but if you're into it like I am, then definitely give it a go. So that is the end of my favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't mind me being a bit lax on the film light and the looking like a slob. It's the look that I'm going for this 2017. But no, yeah, seriously, I hope you had a really nice Christmas and New Year's Eve and a Happy New Year to you. So, yes, adios, goodbye. Tell me all about your Christmas experiences on New Year's, if you had a good one or a bad one. Okay, I'm going to go, bye. Just quickly showing you my face after the gym. What the hell is going on? Maybe it's not coming up as badly on camera, but I am so bright red right now. Sexy, everything about me so... Thank you.